Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking to do some 1v2 Hellgates. Uh, we do have a build here that we're going to be trying out and I'm going to run you guys through the build here very shortly as I am running to a good Hellgate spot. There's a few uh, that I will check out as the Elmwood, original Elmwood spot was taken. So we're going to go up here as we bring up the inventory and you guys can take a peek here. Um, we are going to be running the Hunter's Hood, um, the Retaliate and the balanced mind and that's going to be one of the main abilities that is going to allow you to outplay and actually be able to 1v2 as long as you use your retaliate at a smart uh you know time during the fight uh we're going to look at more of the gear here in a second but retaliate on the hunter's hood is probably one of the most important as it is your huge amount of damage to both players if they're running double dps and you have retaliate up and you use it you're going to be able to do a lot of damage right there and you might be able to get a two for one um as you guys probably did notice, I am running Blood Letters, so you might be able to get a two-for-one lunging stab with that um, damage down. So we are going to be running to a Hellgate. As we get to the Hellgate, uh, we'll go over the other abilities and uh, gear that I kind of decided to run for this build. Uh, this build also works in things like Arena. I know uh, I'll have a few clips, um, Arena clips for you guys to check out. Um, not Arena, my bad. Duels, it works great in duels it does work in arena as well um i've done it in arena but uh it works great in duels and you know it's just something fun to mess around with as you have so much outplay potential running the blood letter with um you know some skill shots and it's got that retaliate for the a lot of damage down to an enemy um looks like we've got looks like we got two of my warblood players here um doing that one so we'll head on over to the other hellgate like i said previously it is the best silver and fame in the game so the hellgates are going to be taken a lot more than usual um within this past month or so so you got to kind of beware and find a spot that works for you um elmwood has been over you know overloaded with people recently i've noticed at least uh in my alliance you'll see a lot of players doing the elmwood spawns because uh, we do own both territories in craig medade uh, I believe we own Starlet Grove on the right side, or the northeast side. And then we also own, own Elmwood. So, Oops is kind of controlling Elmwood right now, it seems like. So, I have been taking advantage of that, and it seems like other players have as well. So, these are kind of all closed. But we will go over the build once we get to a Hellgate and actually have a chance to wait there uh, for the spawn. I know there's one over here that usually isn't taken as much as the other two. So, there should be a possibility of it being up or at least not taken. As we climb on through to Arcag Chasm. Uh, looks like it's not up, but if nobody's there, I will accept that. And we'll just kind of chill out and wait for it. So we don't actually have anyone here, which is good. Uh, I like to get off my horse and just wait beside it. And if you see somebody come, or two people come, and you're not ready to fight, you just jump on, jump on your horse when you know, it takes one second. And you get back on. Uh, it's right here. We might have a player that's trying to kill us. It looks like we do. He is running a nature staff, which is going to be a lot of healing. And he's running T6. Um, let's see what else they got here. I'm trying to look for his teammate because we might challenge this um, if given the opportunity. Let's just go over the other build real quick, I guess, while we wait. Um, the other build we're going to have is the mage robe. Uh, the purging shield, which purges uh, buffs and gives you resistances of 64 for 5 seconds. Very, very strong shield. And obviously that 8% on the aggression for damage and heal power is very, very strong as well. Uh, then we're going to have the Assassin Shoes, which gives you that dodge roll, which is very, very strong as it gives you invincibility for a short time and then gives you a move speed buff of 40% for 4 seconds. Then I'll run the Balance Mind as well on that. Um, and then we have the Blood Letter, like I said. I will be running Sunder Armor. And then I'm actually going to be running the Shadow Edge because the point um, in the Hellgate you're going to want to kind of latch on to an opposing player as they're running through either mobs or they're separated from their teammate. Uh, you're going to want to look for that 1v1 fight originally and then pop into a 2v1 fight at the very end of damaging that first player. So the idea is to get a catch with the Shadow Edge, and if you miss it, you got to reset and wait for your cooldown. Uh, then Lunging Stab, obviously, and I like to go a aggressive rush for, every, for normal attacks. Your damage gets increased by 6%, which gives you more damage basically on your assassinate so 
uh, very helpful there. And I am going to be running a 4.2 taproot as it is just as cheap as the 4.1 and the 4 row. So uh, the taproot's very strong. Gives you a bunch of HP. As you can see, I have about 2,750 HP. And, you know, it's very, very, very strong because it's going to allow me to tank a lot more damage and get a original, the original kill and maybe reset after that kill because I'll have, um, you know, I'll have enough health to actually get a kill and stay alive. So, and then I'm obviously running the beef stew for more damage and the poison for the resistance um, reduction. I don't know if you guys can see that. This The poison targets resistances are reduced by 35 35 is a pretty good amount, a pretty good chunk, so you need to make sure you're using this before you use your lunging stab. Um, and then I am going to run the Keeper Cave, which if I get below 70% HP, I will have increased damage by 50% for 4... I will have increased damage by 50% for 6 seconds. Sorry about that. And uh, so basically this is going to be my setup for the, the Hellgate. And yeah, like I said, Retaliate is probably one of the biggest, strongest parts of this build, making you uh, really, really strong and able to 1v2, and pretty much making you win any 1v1 uh, duel if you play the build correctly. And it also works, like I said, in Arena. Um, I did a video earlier this week using pretty much the same build in Arena, and it's very, very strong and a lot of fun. So check out that video if you'd like. Uh, but let's just get back into this build and try it out. If there are people here, we might try to fight them. It does seem like there is a nature staff guy here. Uh, we may just hop off and see what we can do to him. Um, so I'm overcharging and obviously eating that food. Uh, we're going to be using the Shadow Edge right away to get onto him. Um, I'm going to miss a few auto clicks there, so I'm going to start using my space bar to get those auto attacks off. I got a lot of damage here, so I'm going to try to use the poison and the uh, lunging stab there to finish him off. Um, doesn't look like he died, obviously, and he has the assassin jacket, so he's actually pretty close to dying right here. We got the shadow edge right back onto him, and we're trying to chase him around, but he threw us off a little bit. Uh, we almost had a kill there. I kind of misplayed a little bit, didn't understand that he had the assassin jacket. For some reason, didn't remember that situation. So right here, I kind of missed my abilities. Uh, kind of used it a little bit early. I did not actually think he would be running a assassin jacket. I didn't really pay attention to that. But obviously, he is running the assassin jacket, which, you know, gave him a chance to kill me there. Or not kill me, but uh, live, basically. So I got the keeper cape activated this time. So I have a chance to actually do more damage. Depending on if he plays it right or not. I'm going to try to use this... And you'll see there, it did a lot of damage, even though he's running a Judic 6-0 uh, flat. Uh, I was able to kill him, and the Hellgate is up, but I'm going to run this uh, gear back, because I'm not you know, positive on my 1v2 abilities yet. So I will run this 6-0 gear, 6-flat gear back. Uh, but you were able to see a lot of the potential this build has right there against a Judic healer. It you know, out-damages, which is just crazy. Um... But, you know, that was a pretty intense fight, a lot of fun, and we're going to show you guys a little bit more of that action once we get into this Hellgate, as I am going to use this Alliance Territory real quick. Um, yeah. So he was actually just going to go for a run around build and run away build uh, in the Hellgate, which is another way you can actually do the Hellgate as a solo player. Uh, I will mention that a little bit, is the Judic heals is definitely a possibility. Um, I would rather go for the kills to be honest, so this is the build I run, but for you guys that are looking just to, um, you know, stay alive maybe, uh, the Druidic staff and, you know, invisibility and everything to just keep you alive is definitely a possible, possible and viable strategy as I will run back to this Hellgate. Hopefully nobody took it. Uh, it'd be very unfortunate if somebody took it, but, um, yeah, I wasn't about to go risk that as the guy was kind of risking decent gear to year six. Um, in an undead cape and everything, so I will bank those about every time since my territory is about right here. So as we go through, let's see if somebody's on it or it's gone. Uh, it's not gone, which is good. If somebody's on it, I'll challenge them. Uh, looks like we're getting some lag here, which could be dangerous. Uh, are we getting in there? There we are. 
Okay, so we're getting crazy lag right now, as you guys can tell. Um, hopefully it lets me get into a Hellgate that will kind of ruin the uh, a video for you guys here. As I'm trying to get... What in the world? So it logged us out. Um, but you guys were able to kind of see the build and the strengths of it. Um, I would like to take this into a 1v2 Hellgate for you guys, so I will just try to log in here. Um, I'm assuming it's just going to say servers are down or something of that nature, but uh, I will have some clips that, if this does not load up, I will put some clips up there for you guys, uh, some dual clips uh, where I'm 1v1ing other players, and you guys should be able to see the potential to 1v2 in Hellgates with these dual clips coming up. I did do this live, this whole session live, so you guys are able to kind of see, um, you know, that I didn't do multiple attempts at this. Uh, as it looks like our Hellgate is now down, of course, that's how this usually rolls. So, as we get over here, oh, looks like it's back up. It's kind of juking us out a little bit. Let's hop right into it. Looks like we are going to get one, guys. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to go for lagging, but maybe it'll fix itself. If you guys notice, I did overcharge. I usually don't overcharge uh, in Hellgates, to be honest, anymore. Because I just risk higher gear and don't overcharge. It's the same IP. Uh, item power but uh, look at the HP there uh, it's absolutely crazy I'm sitting about 2945 so when you're playing a solo the taproot's very strong because the taproot reduces your healing uh, that you're able to gain from you know allies so if you're not running uh, with a healer taproot's very very strong because you don't actually get the negative effect there because you're not really healing yourself um, I will probably just try to take one boss and not go for the second boss as uh, getting picked off in the boss can be painful because I am not running a dash. I'm running a uh, the stun or the root or whatever you call it. So let's see what it's called. I'm running the Shadow's Edge. So it does, uh, you know, cause a lot of pain if I do get caught out taking a boss out because I don't actually have that mobility since I'm running dodge as well. Because <clears throat> any sprint or run is actually going to be stronger than the dodge for the most part. So... We'll run down here and just check if we can find them uh, without taking too much damage as I don't have much health regen. Yeah, I'm going to take this a little bit. And I'm just going to ignore these. Uh, depending on what you guys are looking for, you can actually attack these and get some decent fame since you're solo. Um, I think I'm going to let myself heal and then I'll take these bats out real quick. I'm actually going to attack these bats to clear some space. I don't want to activate my keeper cape either. And... It's going to be very close there. My Keeper Cape did not get activated, which is great. I did not get below that 70% threshold. Uh, what you're going to see here... So I was at a higher uh, HP... Or, okay, here we go. Yeah. But yeah, so we are going to be charging up here to see what we can find. Um, doesn't look like anyone's up here, so I'm going to check it out. And is the boss dead? Boss is dead, so they're going to be on this side. We'll hopefully have... A cleared path for us and they do have a clear path for us and they're gonna be going for the treasure so I might be able to catch them out here in the middle um, ideally like I said you want to go for a 1v1 or like to start off the fight at least you want to go for a 1v1 or you're gonna be taking a lot of damage from two players uh, the entire fight so they usually come back the way they came so I'd assume they came this way but they don't seem to be coming this way so we're gonna try to sneak around as we take a lot of damage here this is gonna be very very rough damage uh, might have messed it up right there, depending on where they're at. So we're just going to stand in the middle, uh, see what comes our way, and try to pick them off at the mobs. I like to take this middle advantage, um, if possible. Let's just see. Okay, so we've got nothing yet. Kind of just waiting for him. Okay, so there's one player. We can kill this thing in the middle if you guys... So you'll see right here, I don't know what he's really going for. Um, I have retaliate up right now, so I'm actually fine. And the keeper cape gave me a lot more damage, so... That was a 1v1, uh, which isn't a great, you know, um, showing for us. Let's see, what crap, that trash, that's kind of unfortunate. He was running a 7, um, 
looks like seven boots as well as the seven mercenary jacket, but he actually stood no chance there. I don't know if you guys could tell. Uh, he was just kind of coming in for that 1v1 right away. Um, I wasn't worried whatsoever, and we got free loot. And nothing too special on the middle. I got a 4.2 keeper scape, which is okay. Uh, but for the most part, not great loot. And a 5... Actually, I got a 5 keeper cape as well. So, decent capes, but... Let's see here. Did he have a bag for me? Not a better bag, did he? No, he didn't. I'm going to put that up there so you have guys only seen 1v1s at this point um, unfortunately but uh, they've been some decent 1v1s and they kind of show you my strategy about uh, going about Hellgates as you saw he came through the minions or mobs right there at the last second which you usually don't want to do that and there is another Hellgate up I am going to try to bank this stuff as I do have that uh, territory right there right outside of this entrance um, I did give you guys pretty good hint of you know how I go about doing my thing so if you guys are bored at this point or you know you don't want to keep seeing you know more of the same thing go on and head out uh, I did kind of give you guys the rundown of my build and kind of what I wanted to show you guys so uh, if you guys are willing to stick around and see maybe the next Hellgate if we do get back into that Hellgate before it disappears on us uh, stick around and uh, we will also have the uh, dueling clips available for you guys as well to see some of the duels I did against players that are running much higher gear um, and you know how it works against players that you know have spent some decent time uh, dueling as I'm kind of getting confused here running to my chest the little red dot is the chest by the way in the territory if you guys didn't know a little bit of information for you guys uh, I am just plowing it all in here usually I wouldn't just plow it all in here I'd separate it out hopefully I don't have to separate it out hopefully I'll be okay I'm going to start separating it right now Hopefully, yeah, hopefully I can put these in there. Yeah, I can. Usually you want to separate that out. The territory bank is the stuff you want to put the gems and the souls and the, I guess not set gems, but souls, runes, and things of that nature. Um, and then the armory is where you're going to want to put uh, weapons, as you can't mix and match on the armory. You can't put souls and relics and everything in there, so... We will try to do one more. I think we got one more run for tonight. And then uh, I'll leave you guys with this bit of information in this build. And this build is a lot of fun. And I said, like I said before, uh, it is a lot of outplay potential available in this build. Um, you'll see that it kind of completely depends on my mechanical ability and skill. Uh, if I mess it up, which is very possible, using the retaliate at the wrong time or using a dodge roll too early... Uh, when you're not actually going to get anything out of it. I will probably mess one of these up eventually. Uh, if you guys stick around for a little bit here as we try to finish these Hellgates out. But we've just only gotten 1v1s right now. And it's not too hard to, you know, do that correctly. As, you know, this build is pretty dang strong. So we'll get into this Hellgate and see what happens. What I like to do, guys, by the way, uh, just a little tad of information for you guys. I hesitate to tell you guys this so I can continue to get my way, but I do always rotate bottom right away uh, so I can fight using top vision. Uh, looking at the top up is definitely the better vision. Um, you never, never want to fight uh, top down. It's a lot harder to see down here than it is to see up here fighting, uh, for most people at least. So right here I might ruin my keeper. No, I shouldn't ruin my keeper cape, actually. It should be okay. Big thing is to make sure you don't ruin your keeper cape though. And I am okay with lunging through the boss there, but you need to make sure you don't fight without your lunging stab up, so make sure you have it back. And I like to run past those most of the time. Um, I like to keep mobs on the map so I can use them to my advantage to get a kind of unfair fight against one of them before the next guy comes up. There is a bunch of different builds that work for Bloodletter and 1v2s, but, you know, you can run the Druidic heal, like I said before, but the Bloodletter builds, you can run like a dash or invis and just try to stick to um, killing the bosses for that fame. I know a lot of people do that, and then maybe getting the tomes on the side as well. But this is my favorite way to go about actually just 1v2ing and trying to fight them is, you know, by far my favorite part. So, uh, looks like we're going to get some treasure here. We'll spawn in the center in two minutes. We're going to try to run in there and beat everybody in the middle. I will take a lot of damage probably here. Uh, and I'm not going to use my roll. 
I'm going to show you guys. My roll does have a 25 second cooldown, so if I use that and they came from the side over here, I'd be screwed. Uh, looks like it might be one player again. <coughs> looks like it might possibly be just one player. Um, if it is one player again, I'm sorry about that, guys. I am trying to get 2v1 uh, situations for the video, and um, 2v1 definitely does work. It's not... It's not a problem in most videos uh, or most Hellgates. You're able to at least get a good fight and get a good shot at winning it. You obviously don't win every time if they play a strong comp or you know you mess up a one ability. You can easily lose. Um, but looks right. Looks like they might just give me this Hellgate. Um, if it's just that one guy, he looks like he backed off pretty quickly. Uh, gonna check to see if the chest chest is up. So we are just gonna take it. And let's see what we got. So yeah, not great gear. I think, um, I don't know if this is a for sure thing, but what I've noticed is you don't get near as good gear if you're playing as a solo and you get the chest in the middle. I've noticed that tier 2 seems to be a lot better. Or not tier 2, but running with two guys seems to only be a lot better than um, running with one loot-wise. Um, I think this guy is going to be able to just teleport out of his uh, thing over here, but we're going to go over here and just check. As he is over here, we actually might be able to get ourselves a fight. I don't have dash or anything, but we're going to try to run uh, run at him anyway. And I might have to change my abilities if I want to catch him. kind of curious to see what he's running at the very least. Uh, see if he's worth my time. Let's see here. I think I am just going to change to a sprint. And hopefully he's not running too strong of a build as I changed off my build a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see here. Did he run up here? You'd think he'd run up here. I think he's hiding in the back. So he might have juked me, I guess. Um, I don't know. Looks like this guy's going to play stupid and just hide. So I might just leave him and let him be. Uh, I, I usually do chase them down. I, I hate players that, you know, jump into a hellgate and just hide. Um, but this guy is... Definitely worried about dying as he is running or hiding wherever. I'll check one more spot for you guys before. I know a lot of you guys probably hate this as well when you guys face against this and you want to probably kill him. But uh, we'll check one more spot. We're going to check one more lap around here. Uh, and we're just going to exit the middle path here in a second. As he probably has already exited by now. He also could have probably went invis if he's running an assassin jacket. But not really much I can do about that. So. Let's go and peek up here. I see he was up here last time. I don't know if this is my... No, this is going to be his Hellgate. And my, my assumption is he's out of here. So I will probably just go middle here and exit. And if you guys want... Uh, like I said, this is the best fame in the game. So you guys can take these uh, mobs out. If that's what you're looking to do. Uh, I don't really take the mobs out. I just come in and leave uh, or not come in and leave but I come in do my thing and then I get out uh, make sure you get more loot that way more fame uh, just getting in and getting out but you know if you if you don't win a lot of 1v2s and you want that good fame obviously that might be the better route <clears throat> as it looks like this hellgate might be down um, so this might be the end of the video for you guys I will pop in the dueling uh, fights that we had and I think that'll be all for now. We probably will have some more of this 1v2 content uh, coming in to show you guys a little bit more, or maybe a different build or something, or maybe show you guys actual 1v2 content. You know, that might be a little bit more helpful for you guys to see some uh, how I work against 1v2s. But this should be a good idea, like I said earlier. Um, this will be a little bit lower edited video than usual because um, I am giving you guys kind of instructions and kind of just talking with you guys. This, this is going to be more of a live gameplay. Um, as we're lagging a lot here as we try to get through this uh, area. Um, but thanks for guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.